Welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be explaining how to use a navigation bar. Um, or more in general, a navigation controller. So, navigation control is actually really fundamental to uh, just developing for any app. Uh, you would have seen me use it a lot, but what they're just there to help you organize um, a, long chist, a long list of view controllers. So, I'm going to do a quick demo here. So, let's say I have two view controllers. So, I'll add another view controller here. And I'll just add a button in this first view controller. And what I'm going to do is make this button give a segue towards this. Okay, so I can just make this view controller a full screen view controller. And now we'll give it different background colors so we can see the difference. So this one's orange and this one can be teal. Okay, I'll just run this and you guys can see how this will work. Okay. Okay, so our orange view controller has loaded in first. Now if we click this button, it'll bring us to our teal view controller. Um that's great, but now how do we go back and how do we like get out of here? So that's why if you have a long chain of view controllers like this, a navigation bar can really be useful. Um, more or a navigation controller and to implement one it's actually really simple all you do is go select on your root view controller and then you can just select editor embed in and then just select navigation controller so now if we if we run the app again you'll see we click this button and it's taking us here it's also giving us a back button so you can go back here or we could just swipe back and it also gives us this navigation title so this is really useful for when you want to just give a title to your screen and to customize that you can just set this as first screen uh, first screen and we can set this one as second screen and you can see the back button automatically changed to first screen so that's great um, I'll just rename this button too to go to second screen. So that's how you use a navigation controller. It's just to help you organize your view controllers and to make it easier for the user. So they can just swipe back whenever they want and you don't need to implement multiple segues to go back and forwards and it makes it a lot cleaner. So that's great, but what happens if you want to have a bar button? So those are really easy to implement as well. So what we'll do is search for bar button item, and then we can just drag it into whichever side we want. I'll drag it into the right side, and I'll just name this one uh, print hello. I'll just name it print hello. Okay, so now this is just an example so when this button is clicked what I'll do is create an action uh, and then we'll just name this as uh, print hello action and now when this button is pressed all we're going to do is print hello in the chat I mean <laughs> not the chat the console so if I just run this again and um, now if we click this button and print hello so yeah that's how you use a bar button item and a navigation controller so that was actually a very fast video but it's very simple so thank you for watching and see you later